Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share, all of that would be very much appreci appreciated, thank you so much. I always read my comments and I always reply. I'm also an author, I'm writing an action adventure love story based on my life and my twin flames life. Um, it's called Perception, the two yet one books one and two. You can find links to purchase my book from Amazon, books rather, from Amazon, <coughs> pardon me, in the description box below. Uh, you can also find links to view uh, trailers that I created for each of them that give hints to the storyline. And uh, you can also find links um, for lives that I have loaded from Facebook. I am currently reading book one aloud to my Facebook friends. Um, we're really having a lot of fun with that, so if you like free audiobooks, um, uh, check it out. Uh, I've read up to chapter 7. There are 18 chapters, and so, you know, I'm almost halfway through. You can also find links to my author's page on Facebook, as well as my personal wall. You can follow me, send me a friend request. Um, you can also find links to view lives that I uploaded from Facebook uh, here onto YouTube about my personal life, my story, my mission, my path. I also have a link uh, to my friend April's uh, YouTube channel that she just started. She's an astrologer. She is awesome. Give her a try. Subscribe. She is great. Um, and if you are looking for a personal reading, I am offering those now as well. Okay, so this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're attracted to it is when it's right for you. This is the Celtic Crossbred. I read it slightly differently than others, so I will explain as I go. At the heart of everything for you right now, Aries, you are concerned about stability. This is the Four of Wands. This is the 1111 card. In, other, in the Rider Waite deck, you have two wands standing on either side of the card, and that makes an 1111. This is a, a card that refers to marriage. And um, for me, this is also a... Uh, see, there you are right there, Aries. Aries, and to me, Libra. Because you, what you have is the ram and the dove, and the dove is the air sign. The other sign that is ruled by uh, Venus is uh, Taurus and that's an earth sign so for me this is an Aries Libra card Aries and Libra are directly 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 across from one another uh, in the zodiac and they are also cardinal signs wands are fiery energy they are your energy Aries um, Aries Sagittarius and Leo and here you are at the center of everything okay this is what's on your mind right now. This, you probably have marriage on your mind. You have stability on your mind. Um, and passion as well. Okay, and it could even be a Libra that you're thinking about. This could have a lot to do with your career because wands are also a uh, career. Now, the next thing that the next energy that is directly affecting what is at the heart of everything for you at this time, Aries, is a disc energy. Okay? Now this is a Capricorn energy, and uh, we also have Jupiter energy. So this is a very strong energy here of, you may be feeling like you're juggling right now. Okay? But I was directly drawn to the name of this card which is change. Now what this refers to is this can be the daily struggle to to juggle finances, uh, to keep your life in balance. Um, we've got yin and yang energies here. Um, what this is telling me though is there's going to be a change that has to do with beginnings and ends. There's this heavy Libra energy right here, okay? And that's what, okay, in the uh, Major Arcana, Libra is uh, represented by justice. And justice, 
The Justice card is all about beginnings and ends. Alpha and Omega. Okay, and that's that's exchanging energies. And that's what I saw when I saw this. Energies that go back and forth. A tick-tock, a zero and one. Um, and for eternity, okay? This is, when you turn an eight on its side, that's called the eternal lemmasket. Yet this is the two, okay? This is such an interesting card, okay? So there is um, a type of balance, a beginning and ending that has to do with your earthly life, your health, your wealth. Um, and like I said, for some of you, this means juggling your finances um, with your everyday life. Um, but for me, I, I feel for most of you, I'm feeling that there is a, um, a, a the beginning and ending, the, the change. There's some sort of change that's going on with your earthly life. Now, what's at the root of this is the moon in reverse. And in this deck, for those of you who are new to my channel, this deck doesn't have reversed um, meanings. When you have an upside down card, what it means is that the energy is not fully in force. It's not fully manifested. And so this, at what is at the root of everything is the, um, the moon beginning to manifest. And what the moon represents is a type of deception. There's something that you haven't seen that it represents intuition. There's something that you know isn't right, but you haven't quite figured it out yet. That's why it's upside down. The moon sheds light in the dark. You're in the dark about something right now, but you have a feeling there's something going to happen or something that you don't see. The change. There's some change that's going to come and you don't see why yet perhaps or you don't see when, but your intuition is telling you there's something that you're not seeing. There's some sort of deception going on. And the, the moon shines, the, the deceptive thing about the moon is that it only shines because the sun shines on it. It doesn't have its own light. It's reflecting the light of the sun. Okay. And I'm feeling because I said that there's something that you need to reflect on. It's time perhaps for you to sit back and go into your intuition and reflect, remember, remember. Not necessarily figure something out, but to allow something to be shown to you by your guides. Let something be brought to light from out of the dark. Okay? Now, the next energy that we read is the energy that is moving out of your life at this time. And this is the unmanifested energy of a happy home. Um, this is the disc energy. This is the same as, as this. This is your health and your wealth. When you have the 10 of discs, this is um, your happy home. This is your um, your inheritance, whether it's through money or your, say, like your DNA. Okay. This is, this is like the tree of life. Okay. This, this is earthly life in its highest form. And all 10s are endings too. And so this is upside down. This earthly inheritance, this happy home never fully manifested. And now it's on its way out. Okay. Now, the next two cards for me as a reader are future cards. This is a more immediate future, whereas this is a future that will happen after this one. Although sometimes there are exceptions. I learned that last week. Um, but because I go down, <clears throat> pardon me, and around in a clockwise motion, we read this one first. So in your not so immediate future, you have the seven of swords. Now, sword energy is Libra, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. And here we have Aquarius in particular. Okay. But here again, we have the moon. Okay. And in general, what this card represents is theft. Okay, now I got this card in the exact same position, right side up for Aquarius. So for some of you, there this this could be um, an Aquarius in your life going through the same thing here. But for them, this was them sort of robbing themselves of something because of what they weren't seeing. Okay, 
But for you, if it's, if you don't have an Aquarius involved here with this current situation, um, then I would be mindful that this is probably what the moon here is trying to tell you. There is some sort of theft that in your not so near future is going to come up. Now this is fully manifested. This is going to happen. In a, in a future position, if it had been upside down, such as this, like this, I would say that this is just a possibility. It is not. It is fully manifested. There is some sort of shady character in your life. You could, you could also be uh, deceiving yourself about something. It could be both. But there is um, a thieving, shady, trying to get away with something type energy going on here. Okay. And now this is sword energy. So that's air energy. That's logic. So while you're contemplating what it is, here's your clue. Here's a clue. Okay. Because there's the moon. It has something to do with a shady character. It has something to do with something needing to be brought to light. And it has something to do with theft. Whether you're stealing something from yourself, robbing yourself of something, or it's somebody else. For some of you, it could be an Aquarius. For some of you, it is just your thoughts. Okay, this is, uh, air energy is logic, it is thoughts, it is words, it is intellect. Okay, so I'm hearing use your intellect when you are meditating, when you are reflecting on what this is that you don't see, this deception, okay? Now, the next energy that we read is you again, okay? As you recall, you started in the center of your reading, and now here in your more immediate, what we have is a possibility future, but this is very you, there you are, Aries, and there is your ruling sign, Mars. Now, this is possibly a crossroads, a decision to be made. This is possibly a couple. This is possibly two people arguing. You can see how angry these two Dorges are. This, these are called Dorges. Tibetan Dorges, and what a Dorja is, is a lightning bolt, okay, something's going to hit you, so it, it could be you're finally going to figure it out, you're finally going to see, the moon will shed light through your intuition, through your logic, what it was, and it's going to hit you like a lightning bolt, and then you're going to have a choice to make, and it could be about another person on, or a partnership, um, even a, uh, your career, because wands are career-based. You know, for some of you, you may have a business partner that is not being up and up with you, okay? That's not showing you everything that you need to know, perhaps. So watch out for that. Now here in your hopes, your hopes card is more sword energy and this is upside down, okay? Here again, we have Aquarius. So for some of you, this has to do with an Aquarius, okay? And again, we have Venus. And in the sword energy, that is Libra again, okay? You'll see that this is upside down. So I, I don't think that you're hoping for some sort of conflict you could be hoping because what this means is false gossip uh, injustice words that are not just um, somebody talking about someone else trickery cruelty okay um, but this is in the reverse so as a hope card I would think that I feel this is you hoping that these things are not true, that you may have heard already, okay? It, it could even be uh, you beginning to get, this, for some of you, this Aquarian energy, you know? I mean, look, 
you're hoping it's not what you think it is. Okay? And I'm not saying that there's a shady Aquarius in your life, although maybe for one or two of you there is, but this energy is shady. You probably already know what it is, and you are really hoping it's not true. But when it hits you, you're going to know. Okay? This is starting... This is starting to manifest. It's still a possibility. Now, here in your environment section, you have more wands. Now, this is a sudden movement. Sometimes it's too fast. Okay? There is a Sagittarian influence here. It was wands. Wands are your energy, Aries, but this card in particular has to do with Sagittarian energy. And also over here, what we have is Mercury. And Mercury was a messenger, and this can represent a message or an action. And most of the times, this is something that happens a little too fast for you. And a lot of the times, I'll tell people, don't worry about it, it's going to be good. But not, I, I'm not feeling that. Okay? I'm feeling like it could be this message that or action that happens quickly is probably going to end up being this lightning bolt. Now, the next energy that we read is your fear card. And look at what the universe chose to give you as identifying your fear. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is happiness, joy, abundance, partnership, love. This is everything. This is you being happy in life. Now, whenever you get this card in a reading, it doesn't matter what position it is in. This means that everything else here that looks really bad, any card that you have that looks really bad is not as bad as it could be. It's not as bad as it looks, Aries. Don't freak out. That's exactly why the universe chose to use this card for you. What you're fearing may very well bring you happiness once you get through it. What you're fearing could be this happiness itself. It's saying, Aries, you're going to be happy. But then what we have right on top of it is Now, this is not upright. This is still a possibility as an outcome card. Okay? Now, this is, there's Mercury again. So I just feel like it has to do with this message or action. This is a Taurus energy. Taurus is also ruled by Venus. You've got Venus here. You've got Venus here. This is telling you that you may have this feeling of being left out in the cold. You may have this feeling of lack mentality where you feel like you never have enough. Lack mentality is when you are not sitting there being grateful for all that you have, but you're sitting there being worried about what you don't have. When you stay in this energy, all it does is it brings you more things to worry about. And I'm being shown the moon. This is a deceptive energy. There is some deception going on in your life. Now, the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck is the princess of discs. You seem to have how many discs? You have one, two three discs in here. This is conception, pregnancy, and again, yin and yang. This balance. To me, this is a new 
life, in your health and your wealth, the beginnings and endings, the balance of life, the back and forth. This happy earthly life that never fully manifested, this is a new beginning. And it's just now becoming, it's just now manifesting. I'm feeling like this is prior to the Ace of Discs itself, which is why they're showing me this beautiful princess who is very nurturing and loving and kind and gentle and she is pregnant this ace of discs is a new beginning in your health your family life and in your money there may be some heartbreak there's Libra again there may be some heartbreak in your future but ultimately you're going to have clarity and a new beginning. Okay? And it'll be the end. The ending of these lessons that you've been learning. There's Libra again and the sun. And there's that three of swords, the broken heart. But ultimately you're going to have the upper hand in this battle. There's your ruler, Mars. You are going to have the upper hand and win, and then there you go. There's Venus again. There's love manifesting for you. And victory. Complete and total victory. How much control do you have over this situation? I gauge by the number of major arcana to minor arcana, and you have one and two. So, this is going to end up being a lesson in your intuition. By using both your intuition and meditation and contemplation skills, along with your logic, to find out what this is. To let it hit you like a lightning bolt. This is going to hit you like, like a lightning bolt. But ultimately, you're going to be happy. What you're fearing, what you're worrying about, or going to worry about, is ultimately going to bring you the greatest joy. Once you get through this, once you get through this issue, you'll be happy. Okay, Aries, this was, um, I th this was a good reading. That's what I have for you this, this time. See you next time.